Hey, how is everyone? Today I'm going to work on getting a new bumper on my 2011 Jeep JK. It's a Rugged Ridge full length bumper and I'm going to adapt it a little bit and I'm going to put some rock hard tow brackets on it to use as a towed vehicle for my RV. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about taking the OEM bumper off. Uh, it's pretty easy. There's a bunch of videos on it. I even did one. I'll leave a link to it. Uh, there's a plastic piece on top and a plastic skid plate. They pop off with some clips. And then you're going to have four bolts on each side. And you're going to get them off. And you're going to probably need a big breaker bar to break them loose. And then they'll come off. Again, eight bolts total, four on each side. I'll do that now. Okay, I've got all eight bolts off except one I have just holding on so the bumper doesn't fall. To make this job easy, take the grill off, give yourself room so you're not banging your knuckles. You can get in there nice and easy. There's some wiring here for the headlights. I've disconnected that except there's one clip I couldn't get to. So when I pull this bumper down, I'm going to have to undo that clip as I pull it down. And other than that, this will just pull right off now. Okay, now that it's down, I'm going to remove the fog lights, and it's as simple as four Phillips head screws on each fog light. We'll take them off so we can install them in the new bumper. So I removed the fog lights from the old bumper. I put them on the side for putting them in the main bumper when we get to that part. Now, Rugged Ridge bumper comes in three separate parts. A winch plate that attaches directly to the frame, then the bumper that ex attaches here to these where the existing bumper attached and then a push bar that attaches later on to the bumper. So the first thing we have to do is put this winch plate on and it's pretty heavy, at least quarter inch steel and it's going to attach in three different spots and you got to kind of wiggle it in there. Now the frame sits behind these plates here. I'm just going to put a spare bolt in here just to hold it for a few minutes while I get these top bolts. Now these top bolts are going to go in a washer, a nut, and you slide these brackets with the welded nut on it inside the frame and it actually helps to have a little needle nose so you can get a better reach. And all we're going to do is look for that hole and start that nut. Here we go. And just nice and loose. And we'll do the same to the other side. Nut, a bolt, a washer. Slide the nut in underneath into the frame. And it's actually fairly easy to find that, that hole on the nut there. Okay, now the winch plate's in. Now it's attached to the frame here, and it's also going to attach to the frame on these two bolts here. And that should be good. Now it says I can put the, the grill back on and button this up because everything else will be from the front. I won't need access back there. And I think I might actually put the winch on now. So I'll have easier access to the bolts. Okay, so I bought a ZXR 12,000 pound Badland winch to go on top of this uh, winch plate. And it's very simple to install. It comes with a uh, control box and it's all pre-wired. All you do is put the control box on here. We're going to screw it down and then there's three wires and they connect to these three lugs and it's color coded. Yellow, black, red 
and then we'll run the power cable and the negative cable in through the Jeep up to the battery. So I'm going to put this together, get it on the winch plate. Okay, I have it all wired up. I have the control box installed, all my connections. I put some wire loom on the wires, the positive and negative wires that are going to go through up into my engine bay. Now I'm going to try and wire them through here before I put the grill on so I have easier access. All right, now we'll try and lift this winch up here. wires in the right spot. So this just attaches with four bolts, pretty simple, a bolt, lock wash, and a flat wash, and you go up underneath, holes are all pre-drilled in the uh, winch plate, so I'm going to put all four of those in and tighten them down, and then we can get back onto the bumper. So this is the second piece of the Rugged Ridge bumper and you can see it has the area for the two fog lights. The center is cut out that slips on, attaches to the winch plate and I will say this thing was triple bubble wrap. It had protection on the corners. You could have literally dropped the box off a truck and still would have survived. Very excellent packaging by Rugged Ridge. But right now I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to attach the two fog lights and then the fair lead. The fog lights are in, they take a little patience. There's four bolts for each one. It's not just a screw, it's a bolt and they're very tiny. So with some patience, a Phillips and a small uh, ratchet, you'll get them in. Okay, now on to the Fairlead. This came with the ZXR winch and it simply attaches with two 18 millimeter bolts. And that's done. The fair lead's now on. So I have the fog lights installed, the fair lead, and now we can attach it to the Jeep. Now the Rugged Ridge comes with these demount rings, and they go in front of these four holes, and they bolt through the frame to attach the bumper and the demount rings. Except I'm going to put on the bottom two holes a bracket made by Hard Rock for. Uh, Blue Ox tow bars for my RV. So there's a little bit of modification. I'm trying, I think I'm going to move this up, but I may have to get two more bolts for that and drill that out at a later date. But uh, let's get it on and see what it looks like. Okay. And I'm just going to put a bolt in a hole just to hold it from falling. The first thing to do before we mount the bumper to the frame are the four little bolts that go from the bumper into the winch plate. And it comes with an included Allen key. So I'll just get them started on all four corners and then tighten them up and then we can bolt the bumper to the frame. Okay, those four little screws that attach the bumper to the mounting plate are in. And now I'm going to put the four bolts in here. This blue ox toe holder will go on the bottom. And then the D-rings will go on top. And simple bolt behind, uh, simple nut behind the bolt here. And then this has a nut plate for the inside two bolts. So I'm going to put that up there and we'll wire those bolts through.
All right, I've got all the nuts and bolts started. I have the Blue Ox tow bar bracket to the bottom two bolts, and they're all started, and I have nuts on the back, and I have the D-ring to the top two. And I'm going to take a 19 millimeter for the back bolts, and an 18 millimeter for the front, and tighten this up. Okay, that's it, they're all mounted. The only thing left is the push bar, and that's three little bolts on each side. Let's get that. Okay, so the push bar has three holes in it that line up with the bumper on each side, and it's just gonna rest on there, and it comes with six bolts, three for each side, and it uses this bolt plate. And all you do is hold this bolt plate up underneath and catch the nuts. All six bolts are tightened. Uh, it's a piece of cake with that uh, right angle nut plate they give you. And this actually even has rubber underneath it. Real nice quality. Okay, I'm going to put the hook and strap on, connect the winch to the battery, and we're done. The hook's real simple. It has a cotter pin that holds in this pin. Pull that out. The hook through. Put the cotter pin back in. There you go. And your safety pull strap. Okay, I'm going to make the connections to the battery. So I have my wires run. This is the negative, this is the positive, and the Z ZXR comes with a fuse block. And when you're connecting it, just remember that the copper screws are the one that goes directly to the battery terminal and then the power wire goes to the non-copper. And it's pretty simple, it's a 10 millimeter socket. Just loosen up the bolt. Going to connect positive first. and then we'll connect negative, we'll be done. Nothing. Perfect. Put that back on. And that's done. So our connections are made. Wires are nice and tight. Let's look at the bumper. Okay, all done. And I'm really, really happy with this. It looks fantastic. I'm really impressed with the quality. Again, it was a Rugged Ridge Spartan bumper, full length with high-end clearance. It also comes in a stubby and a mid-length. Uh, I also installed the ZKR 12,000 Bedland winch, and I got the uh, wireless remote option with that. I like this bumper for two reasons. It allowed me to install my OEM fog lights, and it allowed me to use my Blue Ox tow bar brackets from Rock Hard without any modification. Uh, and that's what I was looking for when I was looking for a bumper. And I'll leave a link to it down below if you're interested in researching it. I'll also put it on my website, rvhabit.com. Don't forget to check it out. And if you like uh, mods and upgrades to your Jeep or RV, don't forget to subscribe. But as always, thanks for watching.